All right, so I am driving to the school today and I'm going to show you guys where, um, like the auditorium and stuff at the school because um, we are about to undergo some really cool changes at the school and there's gonna be some really cool things coming up. So um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some of the things that we're going to be changing at, um, in the auditorium. So you guys have seen this part, the office, um, cause there's Maddie again. Hello! <laughs> she is working hard <laughs> on getting t-shirts ordered for um, our musical that's coming up. The, uh, You'll see it on May 7th, 8th and 9th at the Lincoln Amphitheater. Yeah, so that's in a few weeks. We're kind of mm, dizzy. I'm gonna grab my mask just in case there's somebody that I run into. Um, Maddie and I are both fully vaccinated. This is the choir room. Let me show you guys. Notice how everybody's spaced out and there's only a certain amount of people that can sing in here at a certain time. So now choir stuff happens in the auditorium. We're gonna go through the back to backstage door of the auditorium located right here. My goodness, folks, it is dark back here, but this is backstage. We're gonna quickly go up these steps for just a moment so you can see a little bit what's over here. So this is our curtains and our lighting. And for those of you that know theater and know technical theater, please don't judge me on my cable management because sometimes I have to do things in a hurry and yeah, it's just not good sometimes. But this is what we had to do to make do. I'm gonna go show you that thing. So this equipment that we have here is very old, but we are getting a big grant or some kind of money. I'm not exactly sure what, where the money comes from. I don't, I'm not good with public funds and stuff, I don't know. Uh, but look look at this, see how there's a big tear? It's gotta get replaced. Um, these curtains that are this color are going to be replaced. And all of the lighting that's up there in that catwalk. And up here, this is all gonna be replaced. Let's take a look at this guy we got over here. All right, for you lighting nerds, you theater lighting nerds, this is our control panel. And let me see if I can turn on. I don't know if that made it better or not. <laughs> There's just one lone light up there. <laughs> But here we are. So this is, this is the lighting panel. I have five channels here and three channels down here. The rest of these are all hardwired. So if I plug something into one of these channels, there's no dimming and it's directly plugged in. Um, so this is, this is a cross, this is a cross, um, I don't know what you call it, a cross scene. It, I, basically, I can set one scene with the blues here, and then set another scene 
on the greens. And then whenever it's time to switch scenes, you just go like that and it switches between the two scenes. And then you go and you set your blue, whatever you want. That's set for. That is one way that this works. Another way that it works is you can set it. So like here it says preset off or independent. Your preset is set with your preset masters here. And you have this preset one and preset two, which is controlled by your preset masters. If it's in the off position in the middle, so the toggle has this, this in that position. If it's in the off position, the lighting is gonna be off. If it's in the independent position, then whatever you control in the green is going to be what it is. And your green has to be up here um, because that is your independence. If you're in independent mode on your, on your channel, the blues will not control anything. I also have some non-dims or undims here. And what undims are, see these are dimmable circuits here, and these are not dimmable, but you can turn them off or on. And then I also have house extended controls here. This panel is from 1968. This building was built in 1974. We are going to have a new system very soon. Now, take a look at this. This is my patch bay. This is also getting replaced with our new system. Because here we are. <laughs> this is so old and outdated. It's all getting, it's all getting replaced though. So I'm really excited. Something else that we're taking a look at is our rigging, getting these ropes replaced, and such. We're going to do that. Those ropes control how high, like, this curtain is, and this teaser, how tall, how, how high they go, they go up and down. We can, uh, hang different scenes from them and whatnot. This year we're doing the show at Lincoln Amphitheater, which is really, really awesome. And I was just checking to see if the light's on up here. I don't know if it is. Huh? Yeah, it is. All right. Up here in the prop balcony, we have some props you may recognize and know exactly what show it's from, even if you haven't seen our shows. Some of our lighting. That points at the stage there. Welcome to the catwalk. You have to be careful where you walk up here because you can easily hit your head. But it's a very unique view. Very unique view. And the lights are burnt out up here. <laughs> so I can't see what I'm doing when we're working, but I'm being very careful. This is the catwalk. And I hit my head. <laughs> There's a wall there. I hit my head on. It's okay. I have a hard head. It's all good. Our stage is very nice and it is very big and I am very thankful for it. It is wonderful. Another thing that this stage has, which is really unique, 
is this large pit. Sometimes we'll find random things like pieces of cardboard <laughs> and things like that. It's pretty clean right now. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, that's the show we're doing right now. We're doing it at Lincoln Amphitheater. You've seen that on my, I'll link to it up above. I'll link to Lincoln Amphitheater up above. We have a really awesome auditorium. Those tech balconies up there, this is the sound one, and this one is the spotlight one. We're working out that because we would rather have the spot or the sound down here where the audience is, and that's currently where the soundboard's living, uh, but sometimes it lives up there. We would rather those two tech balconies be connected and spotlights be in them, but we're working with what we can. This is the soundboard. And like I said, we have it on this level here so that we can hear what the audience hears instead of being up there where you can't hear it, up there. We have something else really cool backstage here that I wanna show you. We always have random benches random benches and different things. There's always randomness stacked on top. So there's a few things sitting here on this. <laughs> this is our carriage and behind it there is our throne that we've used in lots of band shows and yeah, this is our full size carriage that we have. We used it for Cinderella and we have loaned it out to other schools to use because that's how we operate here. We don't work on exclusivity. exclusivity. We like to share what we have for the better of the community and for the students. Back here we also have this house. This house was used in Cinderella. Um, and Fiddler on the Roof, I think. Yeah. Did we use it for Fiddler? Mm, I don't remember. I think we did. So this platform is on wheels and it moves across the stage. And it actually nests with that house. So you can put a house in here and it, and it comes together. Or you can separate them to create different looks for different scenes. We did this a lot in Cinderella. This is what it looks like from the stage to the audience. By the way, this is a huge stage. And again, if I haven't said it before, I think I did, but if I haven't said it before, I'm really thankful to have this stage to be able to work with. If you look, there's actually a line here that separates that this part is a softer wood than that part for some reason. They used hardwood on this floor and softwood on this floor. I don't know why. Also, I think we're getting this floor refinished so that it's a different kind of finish. Hopefully a dark one. That would be nice. In our crossover here, we have lots of things that you cannot see because it's so dark, but trust me, there's lots of stuff back here. Yeah, so whenever I was giving the tour, I didn't really think about it being so dark. So um, whenever I look at this video, in uh, post-production and like I'm editing it, I'm hoping that I can make it so you can at least see some things that I wanted to show you there. Um, but yeah, it's pretty dark backstage. We're working on that too, to get some better work lights. Our whole lighting system is gonna be updated. Yeah, pretty much everything. This is a prep period for the choir teacher, so there's nothing going on here 
We did a recording earlier of a song uh, that was beautiful, gave me goosebumps. They don't have the performance license, so I can't link it here. Maybe I can do it as like a an underscore or something so you can hear it. I don't know. They don't have the performance license and I don't want to get them in trouble, so. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. And don't forget to stay happy, friends. <laughs>